All right, so uh, this video is for whoever is interested. Uh, these are my latest color settings in the OpenXR toolkit. Um, I find that they work pretty well. I'm here in Sedona right now um, at noon with live weather. And uh, yeah, it's nice and bright without being crazy bright. And uh, here, so contrast 54, brightness 49, exposure 56.7, saturation 53, vibrance 11, highlights 11. And uh, we'll go over here to color gains. I might pop up green a little bit more. Actually, you know, kind of like it. A little less green, a little bit more blue, a little less red. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And, you know, it's all personal preference as far as coloring is concerned, but uh, it I find that these settings work pretty well <clears throat> with uh, most lighting situations and weather situations. So actually, let me get out of this view again, because that's the only way I can get the, uh, what you would call it up, the uh, OpenXR Toolkit menu up. So let's go mess with some weather settings here. Uh, we'll do a few clouds and let's go to the actual time. So a lot of people have issues with glare and uh, usually it's in uh, earlier in the day, uh, earlier in the morning or later in the evening and you kind of get this glare from the sun. But right now I have the time set to 1827 GMT. So let's move it more towards like, yeah, seven o'clock ish. So now this is where the glare would be when the sun is close to the horizon. And uh, it's not so bad. I mean, I can see the clouds, the glare isn't crazy. I can still see stuff behind it. And if I fly towards it, I can make out where the sun should be in the sky. Let's uh, actually um, make it a little cloudier. Whoops. Two scattered clouds. There we go. And yeah, generally speaking, with this many clouds in the sky and you had the sun this low, you would see nothing but like all this bright white. Uh, but now I can see it's the volumetric clouds. I can see the sun sort of peeking in from the behind the cloud. Um, it's not overly bright and uh, glary and so you know I can make out details and the colors are good without being too washed out and that was my main issue with the G2 was the washed out sort of colors um, and it was a hell of a lot better than my older headset which was the Rift S but uh, after a little while especially in the sim you would notice some, well, I mean, with the default settings and everything. Uh, you know, fast mover. Um, yeah, you would notice a lot of sort of glare and a lot of washed out colors. So kinda, I kind of prefer it this way. And uh, let's go back to a few clouds and see what the glare would look like with that. A 
Also the shadows and the reflections off the the windscreen, the the windshields, or your windows rather. <laughs> um, they're, they, they seem a little bit more realistic and a little bit, uh, I don't know, they just seem, they seem better to me. So yeah, so like this, the sun's pretty low to the ground, to the horizon, and there's still some glare for sure. There's still some, uh, you know, and, and I guess that's simulating what it would look like, you know, if you were staring at the sun, you know, you, you wouldn't be able to see too much, uh, uh, because, you know, the sun is really bright. But with these settings, I can still make out the sun is almost directly at my 12 o'clock. It's at my 12 o'clock now. Uh, and I can see details in the clouds. And then, yeah, so like, I don't know, like in uh, most lighting conditions, and I've, I've pretty much tested this in dusk, evening, uh, with DirectX 12, for some reason, doesn't really work too well with my system. Like, it's dark, darkness. All the lights sort of tend to, like, uh, reproject quite a bit. But I can get pretty dark. I mean, this is fine. And, again, the colors look really good. You know, probably not the most realistic coloring in the world, but I think it looks good without, again, without it looking overly cartoonish or, or you can't make out the finer details, which was my issue prior to messing with color settings. Anyway, so th that's it. That's, and this is noon go straight up noon live weather yeah it's not bad not bad at all we'll do uh, early morning so I'll put up the um, the uh, open XR menu once again just to get a, a quick recap, uh, I'm just kind of just flying around aimlessly here. So yeah, the sun's like just coming up over the mountain, over there, mountain range, and. Uh, yeah, it looks good. I'm getting uh, I'm getting some nice reflections from the from the sun on the on the cliffs of the mountains. And you know the saturation is a little high, but it's but I think uh, the sat color saturation in the game is a little on the lower side. But that's just me. A lot of people tend to disagree with me. A lot of people think the sim is too bright. Um, I think it can be at times, dependent on where you are and what the cloud cover is like. But, you know, with these settings, I think, you know, if you're, you know, in a helicopter or an airplane and it's noon and there's no, and there's no clouds out, it's going to be fucking bright. You're going to need sunglasses. So, you know, yeah, I turned down the brightness just a little bit just to help out with uh, everything else looking pretty good, but yeah, so let's do that. Let's just go no clouds and uh, just very quick, quickly at noon. So that's noon and we'll do clear weather, clear skies. And yeah, it's bright, but it's not like blindingly bright or anything. And like I said, once you adjust your colors, uh, I, I believe in like situations like this, uh, where you have just a very bright day, everything else sort of tended to seem washed out prior and low contrast. So I upped the contrast quite a bit. I upped the, um, 
I lowered the brightness just a tad and I upped saturation. I think those were the most important adjustments I made. And honestly, you know, with the color settings that I have now and the resolution I'm rocking, like I'm not rocking a super high resolution. Um, I used to I used to play around in 3700 by uh, 3800 or around there. And I find 35, 3600 is just way more smooth and still super sharp and clear. And with these color settings, uh, the clarity just seems a lot better to me right now. And the dials and the gauges don't sort of, sometimes I find that they, that the numbers on the dials kind of bleed into the background of the dials and I don't see that now now they it kind of seems a lot more crisp and sharp so anyway here's uh, I gotta do this again here's the uh, settings one last time Settings once again, contrast 54, brightness 49, exposure 56.7, saturation 53, vibrance 11, highlights 11. Uh, and then for the colors, we'll do 49 for red, 48.7 or 49 for green, and blue is 52. You know what? I think I am going to just up blue a little bit more and see what that does. Let's just, okay, that makes it globally blue. So let's leave that at 50, 52.5 is good. Yeah, that looks good. All right, yeah, and so my resolution is uh, 3572 by 3500. So it's not super low, it's not super high for a uh, 4080 anyway. Um, but, you know, it, it, you know, my uh, flights are smooth, except when I use this bullshit. Yeah, the windows. Kills your performance. Anyway, this uh, looks good. It's not overly washed out or overly saturated, but it's definitely the colors pop. And and you know, like honestly, everybody's system is a little bit different. Everybody's lenses are going to be a little bit different. But uh, for me, everything seems pretty good. Not crazy cartoonish or anything, and not too dim, not too bright. Whoa. There you go, buddy. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe.